Definition for excited delirium online is a syndrome described as a combination of psychomotor agitation, delirium, and sweating. It may include attempts at violence, unexpected strength, and high body temperature. It is a psychosis-like state in which the individual blacks out and basically goes on a complete psychopathic rampage. Most of the time it is fueled by stimulants such as crack cocaine, meth, bath salts, flocka, and I've even witnessed it happen to someone that took too many magic mushrooms. Here's a clip from the channel The Medic Minute talking a little bit about excited delirium. Excited delirium is a constellation of signs and symptoms that has been described and is recognized as a diagnosis. What manifests excited delirium? Patient is usually psychotic, incoherent, agitated. They'll be hyperthermic. Their body temperature will be elevated. They'll be tachycardic. Their heart rate is fast. They'll be perspiring profusely. They may actually have taken their clothing off. And they will be agitated, violent. They may actually try to attack whoever is approaching them because they're responding to internal stimuli. They're not responding to... Uh, logic or reason. They have superhuman strength and basically the general public would be terrified when they encounter somebody like that. They will probably dial 911. You as a first responder will have to start managing that patient. Speaking of first responders, on October 19, 2005, Officer Raymond Shaw of the West Palm Beach Police Department was being filmed by Dylan Langley's production company for the hit TV show Cops. At about 1.19 a.m., Multiple 911 calls came in for a man in need of assistance on the corner of 45th Street and Broadway. Officer Shaw gets out of the, his vehicle to find Donald Lewis on the ground in a fit of excited delirium, nonviolent but incoherent. Lewis makes it to his feet where he stumbles into oncoming traffic and Officer Shaw wrestles him to the ground to detain him. 6 7 out with the signal 20, 600 block of 45th Street. What's up, buddy? White male, no shirt, approximately closure panel. Hit both me, please. Lay down. Lay down. What's going on, bro? They beat me up. Who? How much coke you smoke, man? I don't do nothing. Oh, Lord. Hey, do me a favor. What? Relax. Please. Okay. I'll help you. Oh, my God. Hey, relax. I don't want nothing. Lower down. I'm sorry. Relax. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I'm on the ground. Stay there. Hey, stay like that. Come here, dude. Stop. Stop. Hold on. The cars are going to... Come here, dude. Come here. 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 I'm sorry. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back, dummy. <clears throat> Put your hands behind your back. Now! <clears throat> Put your hands behind your back. Officer Robert Root has arrived to assist Officer Shaw in detaining Lewis. Just sit, buddy. Just sit. Just relax. Relax. Bro. relax. Just relax. Relax. Okay, just relax. I got both of them. I got both of them. Uh, what's up with this? Yeah, well. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got uh, Channel 1, I got 57 Channel 1. Lewis begins kicking his legs as officers Randy Mail, Audrey Dunn, and Felton Luke arrive on the scene. Uh, uh, start the medics. Start medics, West Palm. Uh, Code 4. Uh, 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 Code 4. Code 4. Does this image look familiar to you? Uh, Oh. Oh, no. Get more hobbles. Get him. Hey, 
Ah, just grab him. I got him. Ah, yeah. Oh. Right. Ah. Look at that. Where are you 600 block. Let's ah. pump. Ah. Officer Root grabs a hobble cord, also known as TARP, the total appendage restraint position, to restrain Donald's legs. The hobble cord is used to tie suspects' legs together if they're kicking while they're handcuffed, putting them into a hog-tied position. Oh God. Oh God. Help him with his legs, Luke. Ah. Ah. Oh, ah. Not my foot. Dude, get off of me. I'm not on you. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Ray. not I'm sorry, you. Sorry, Ray. Help me. I'm help trying to help you, dude. Ah. But you gotta chill out a minute. Hey, please. He's hobbled. Relax. I, I don't know. The cops are hurting me. The cops are Help. What are you doing to me? Ah. I'm trying to keep you from yourself. I'm not hurting myself. The officers decide to pick Lewis up and move him over to the sidewalk. Get him out of the road. One, oh. two, three. Ah. Ah. Help. Help. Ah. Right there. Sit him up. No. Sit him up. Help. Sit up. No. Ah. Help. You're a fucking dummy. Just leave. Please. Help. Sit up. My mom, I love you, Mr. Lewis. This me dying, Lewis. Oh, the cops are killing me. Shut up. Help. Help me. Still fighting? Yeah. Oh. Did you? Arthur, I love you. Arthur, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Can't get him up, then we'll... I'm gonna do no. A, I'm going to do a drive. Why are you trying to kill me? Sit. Hey, you need to chill out and sit up. Leave me alone. Sit up on your butt, man. Why? Who are you, officer? We're the police trying to help What's you. What's your name? What do you help me do? I'm Officer Shaw. I'm going to help you. you got to help me. You want your name? Hey, now. Yeah, we're just trying to uh, get him contained here. Hey. We're all right. Oh. That's the, uh, the guy that looked at me. Huh? That's the guy that just called in. Okay. No shirt. Oh. All right. Jump. I didn't take my shirt. Time. You're lying. I didn't jump. All right, get your gloves on. No gloves. No gloves. Get off his eyes. Keep still, buddy. Oh, no. No. Oh, please, the God. Oh, we got him on already. Ah. I thought we already had one. You didn't have one. Oh, you're killing me. I, I, but I couldn't, I couldn't get it hooked. Ah. You want me to hook it? Yeah. Oh. That would be good. Oh, kill me. Oh, I love you. Luke, his arm's out. Ah. I'm going to kill you. Oh, please, the God. Ow. 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 As you've noticed, Lewis has been steadily moving and groaning. The officers grab Lewis by his feet and seem to pull him up. Next, you hear the loud grunts from the officers. Unfortunately, the cameraman only caught the top half of what they did, and we don't get a view of what happened from his growing up. state of unconsciousness, so let's uh, right. check him. We gotta get him back up on yeah. his butt. Check him. Yeah. Rolling. Yeah. Right now, we have officially reached state of unconsciousness here. Get the Come bag. On, get the bag. Come on. I'm there telling you, you right now. There get a go. bag. 93 is Start the medics here. You already did. Hey. Hey, look at me. 
Check him for a pulse. Make sure he's still got the get pulse. Your... Make sure he's breathing. Undo the hobble if you have to. I'm Let's trying to, but guy. I can't get it. Back going again. He's got a pulse. OK. All right, he's probably going to stay unconscious, so let's go ahead and undo the hobble. If we have to hobble again, the hobble again. Okay. All right. All right. I need a light. The officers start to realize that Lewis is unconscious, so they try to remove the hobble cord so they can perform CPR. I got it. Here it is. Get him up on him. Sit, sit up, him man. up. Get him, uh, get him up. All the way. Yeah. Yeah, Ruth, hey, don't take that hobble. Hold on to that hobble. Yes, sir. Right. Got it. Medics. Ruff, get him here. Yeah. There you go. Making a yes. Ready to have a pulse on him? I can't tell, Sarge. Okay. Somebody, my heart's fucking already up, so I can't tell if his is. As long as he's getting there, medics are on their way. Lay him back, let's do it for yep. real. Let's get those yep. cuffs off yep. and do it for real. Crawl this way. Okay? Get his head tilted, let's do it for real. Get the cuffs off. Thank you. Somebody give me a key. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Get the one off, we'll flip him over on his back, we'll work him. Yep. Okay. And if somebody get that other cup off. Got it. Right. So he can't hit us with it when he wakes up. Hold his head, hold his head, hold his head. Alright, let's do this for real, guys. Handcuffs. Tilt it back. Get it over in his mouth. Get it on his mouth. <laughs> Five and two, five and two. Two, three, four, five, three. Twice. One, two, three, four, five, three, twice. One, two, three, four, five, three. One, two, three, four, five, breathe. One, two, three, four, five, breathe. Check for signs of life. Pulse? None. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got a pulse. Keep going. No, nope. wait. No, we got stop this. Stop the compression. Give him a second. Give a second. Is he breathing? Take. Stop this for a second. Check. Check. Check his airway. Listen. Put your head down there and listen. There you go. Get down there. I can't. He's not breathing. All right. Keep the bag. Keep, keep the bag. Keep bagging him. Bag. Rescue breathing. Take your time. A little slower. Five blocks away. <laughs> Tilt his head more. Yep. Tilt his head more. His chest is raised. That's all the footage you can find on the internet from this incident. Lewis was pronounced dead later that night. His service was at Palm's West Funeral Home in Royal Palm Beach. On December 11, 2005, Donald's mother, Linda Lewis, sued the city of West Palm Beach and two Langley production employees over a wrongful death caused by excessive force lawsuit. In the case, the plaintiff believes that the cops used excessive force that killed Lewis. The 11th Circuit Court said that to win the case, the plaintiff must show that the police officer's conduct crossed the line between excessive and acceptable force and that the officers had to have known that they were violating the Constitution. Dr. Michael Bell, the chief medical examiner for Palm Beach County, gave his opinion that Lewis's cause of death was from sudden respiratory arrest following physical struggling restraint due to cocaine-induced excited delirium. He also believes that the police acted accordingly that night. However, Dr. Michael Baden, the plaintiff's expert witness, suggests that death from excited delirium is used as an excuse for deaths in police custody. He said he believes Lewis died from asphyxia of the neck, and also testified that the critical factor leading to Lewis's death was injury to his neck. Baden also stated, word for word, after Lewis was already handcuffed and effectively immobilized, there was simply no need for the officers to kneel on Lewis's upper back and neck, nor was there a need for Officer Shaw to pick up and shove Lewis's legs down toward his awkwardly contorted body. 
The officers were attempting to either further restrain Lewis or to place him in a seated position. Officer Shaw's actions, combined with Officer Root and Officer Luke's knees on Lewis's back, did not help achieve either of these possible goals. Therefore, there is a genuine issue of material fact as to whether Officer Shaw, Root, and Luke violated Lewis's rights under the Fourth Amendment. The two employees for Langley Productions were dropped from the lawsuit on November 29, 2007. On March 18, 2008, the court declared that Linda's legal team did not provide enough evidence and that the officers are granted qualified immunity, meaning that they were following protocol and dismissed the case. Because Florida law does not recognize a cause of action for a police officer's negligent use of force in making an arrest, the city is entitled to summary judgment on plaintiff's wrongful death claim as well. The case was brought to Supreme Court in 2010, but was unfortunately rejected. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like and subscribe for more new content. This is my first attempt at a crime scene type video, so let me know how it went. This also happened about 20 minutes from my house, so I found it very interesting. Do you think the cops used excessive force that killed Lewis? Are they justified in Lewis's death? Do you side with Dr. Bell or Dr. Baden? Let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys.